Regional integration, uh, particularly in the case of uh, uh, Latin America, it's definitely a, a building block to global governance. There's the view that uh, regional integration could be a stumbling block to uh, multilateralism and global governance, but I am in the view that this is more uh, a case of uh, a building block. And the reason is that we have a system, a multilateral system, that has uh, traditionally viewed regional integration as, uh, as an exception to the system. And more and more we see this as part of the, should be seen as part of the, of the system. Some of the most uh, uh, new initiatives, emerging initiatives uh, in Latin America, in the Asia, in the Asia Pacific, are initiatives that uh, build, the system, build uh, structures of regional integration that could contribute to a global government by harmonizing rules, by uh, creating uh, consistency with the multilateral uh, frameworks. So overall, uh, if there are still two opposite views about uh, uh, the relationship between regional integration and global governance, I think that by large uh, these, uh, these initiatives uh, will contribute to, to these, uh, to these uh, multilateral frameworks. Well, this I think is a, it's an extraordinary uh, experience uh, to have the possibility to link uh, not only academics, uh, in this case academics uh, that work on integration issues, but uh, practitioners, uh, practitioners from uh, regional institutions, uh, from uh, political bodies, uh, like the European Parliament in this case, uh, and also uh, some people that uh, uh, have links with even the private sector. So the overall linkage, linkage between uh, academics, private sector, and policy makers, I think is extremely useful uh, 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 framework in which this type of discussion should be held.